Because many of us know the story of the Passion so well, it is easy at this sixth station of the cross for our mind's eye to jump directly to that crown of thorns and the purple cloak. Imagine if we were asked to draw pictures of the most important items of the Passion story. What would you draw? A cross, three nails, a crown of thorns. The crown and cloak are easy to look at. Yes, we can imagine pain inflicted on Jesus by the crown being placed firmly on his head, trickles of blood dripping down his brow. But there is no action in that crown or that purple cloak. They just are. But the scripture we reflect on at this sixth station opens with a short eight-word verse. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. Up to this point in the story, there hasn't been much violence. The police from the chief priests, which Judas had brought to the garden for Jesus' arrest, had struck Jesus earlier, John tells us, when his response to the high priest's questioning must have been heard as an insult. But now it turns violent, very violent. Before your gaze goes to that crown and purple cloak draped on Jesus' shoulders, watch and listen to Jesus being scourged. One. Two, three, four, five, thirty-nine times he was struck viciously, loudly. Don't read over that eight-word verse too quickly. See and hear the pain he endured for our sake. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole. And by his bruises, we are healed. Healed. 